Hey, Pop. Hey. Hey, St. Matthew's Mission. Yeah, right there. Where? Right there. Oh, that's it. Yeah. You know a guy named Dolan? Dolan, yeah, yeah. See him there? Look inside in the kitchen, you'll see him in there. That's all right. Welcome, brother. How do you, man? Peace be with you. Thank you. My house is your house. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You're hungry and tired. I can see that. Uh, well, the fact is, I didn't sleep last night, and I'm plenty tired. Oh, I am thank sorry. You. Would you wait here? George, would you bring a tray, please? Won't you join us, brother? Join you for what? Come. I haven't seen you before, have I? Oh, no, ma'am. No. no. Oh, that coat. The coat, oh. that coat, that coat. Oh, I'm sure that we can find something nicer for you in the other room. Something maybe a bit warmer. What, what size are you, do you know? I think there's a misunderstanding. Oh, no, brother. No false pride between friends. A man's worth is not judged by the size of his purse. Ah, uh, that's, that, that's very true. Um, let me explain. Uh, Explanations are not necessary between friends. Please, your food. Come. Come eat. Please, join us. Eat. An empty stomach is the devil's playground. Well, uh... Now, this is plain food, but it's filling. Well, it certainly looks wonderful. Thank oh, you. Uh, See you. Sit down. You sit down and eat. And when you're finished, we'll have a little talk. All right? Uh, oh, Margaret. Mar later, later. Margaret, didn't they bring in a tweed coat yesterday? A short 36, I think, wasn't it? Come, come, come. Let's look for it. I'll be back. Mr. Dolan. Yes. May I? Alliances. Well, how are you today? I want you to understand something. If you think you found a scintillating breakfast companion, sir, I say you have found me at my worst. Well, I'm not at my best either. But I gotta say this, this stuff is not bad. What is this, beef stew? That is the prevailing theory. You don't remember me, do you? I'm Lieutenant Colombo. We met last night. Yeah, I'm investigating the murder that took place up there on Devlin Road. Uh, perhaps I should get in touch with my barrister. Pip pip. <laughs> now, that won't be necessary, sir. You're not a suspect. Uh, now, all I want to do is I just want to double check the statement that you made last night. Here we are. Uh, this is what you said. I'd like to read it to you. Oh, okay. oh we of are in luck. But that's all right, you stay. I found exactly the right thing. It's warm, and look, it's hardly been used at all. Now, you stand up and we'll try it on. You know, I appreciate what you're doing. I really do, but I've had this coat for seven years. Oh, you poor man. Don't be ashamed. No, I'm very fond of it. And besides, uh, I'm from the police force, ma'am. My name is Lieutenant Colombo. All are welcome here, Lieutenant. No, but you see, I, I'm actually working on a case now. Oh, I see. 
You mean, you mean you're working undercover? Oh, well, how clever you are, Lieutenant. You know you fooled even me. Oh, and please, please forgive me for interrupting your investigation. I'm sorry. Oh, and don't worry. I won't tell a soul about your disguise. Thank you. Oh, it's good. It's really very good. Lieutenant, why don't you sit down before your beef gets cold? <clears throat> Do you play cribbage? Well, listen, I'd love to join you, but uh, unfortunately, I'm tied up on this investigation. Uh, do you have a moment? Because I'd like to read this to you. Is it all right? Uh, this is your statement. Uh, you said, uh, at first I thought it was some child playing with a firecracker. I nearly went to take a look, but the spirit being more willing than the flesh, I decided to remain where I was. After a touch of the grape to induce slumber, I just about settled back when I heard the noise again. So I got up to investigate. I got out of the car and I started toward the shack. That's when this man came limping toward me. His leg was bleeding. He was trying to find the phone. That's your statement. Now I'll tell you what bothers me about this. According to this, there seems to be a considerable gap between the shots, a time lapse between the first shot and the second shot. A couple of seconds, or it could be more. I wonder now, could you be more specific? Well, Lieutenant, I, I honestly must say this to you. I, I don't remember saying any of that. Well, I'm not saying you're fabricating all this, but I frankly do not remember anything of last night. Just one more thing. <laughs>